Hello everyone. A composite wire of uniform diameter 3 mm consists of a copper wire of length 2.2 meter and a steel wire of length 1.6 meter stretches under a load by 0.7 mm. Calculate the load given that the Young's modulus of the copper is 1.1 into 10 to power 11 and that of the steel is given the 2 into 10 to power 11 Pascal. So you can look at the diagram here. There is a composite wire is given the one is the copper one and the other one is the steel. Copper length is given the 2.2 meter. The steel length is given the 1.6 meter. When a force F is applied on the copper wire, definitely the same force will be acting on the steel wire also, right? Now it is given the when the force is applied, there is a net extension of 0.7 millimeter. That is delta L is equal to 7 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter. The net extension is given the delta L is equal to 7 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter. The stress acting on the copper as well as the stress acting on the steel both are equal. So stress on copper and steel are equal. So we can use the formula for Young's modulus. Young's modulus is equal to stress divided by strain. Okay, stress divided by strain. So what is the stress equal to? Stress is equal to Young's modulus into strain. So substitute this equation here. So stresses are equal on copper. So we can write the Young's modulus of the copper into strain of the copper. What is the strain? Delta LC divided by LC, which is equal to stress on steel. What is the stress on steel? That is equal to Young's modulus of the steel into delta LS divided by LS. Okay, so we can write here delta LC, the extension on the copper, divided by delta LS, which is equal to what is the value become YS divided by YC into LC divided by LS. Substitute this value, what you will be getting now? Delta LC divided by delta LS, which is equal to Y steel. What is a Y steel given the 2 into 10 to the power 11 divided by Y copper 1.1 into 10 to the power 11. Now length of copper, length of the copper is 2.2 meter divided by length of the steel, which is equal to 1.6 meter. 10 to the power 11, 10 to the power 11 cancel 1.1 here 2 times so 4 by 1.6 which is equal to 2.5. Now in the question it is given the total extension is given the delta L equal to 7 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter where what is the total extension? Total extension is the sum of the extension in the copper and extension in the steel. So we can write here what is the delta L 7 into 10 to the power minus 4 is equal to now what is the delta LC that is the extension in the copper we can say here 2.5 times delta LS alright so 2.5 times delta L steel plus delta L steel so we can write here 7 into 10 to the power minus 4 is equal to 3.5 delta L steel so what is the delta L steel value which is equal to 7 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 3.5 which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter. So we got now what is the extension happening in the steel. Now what is the question is asking for? That is asking for what is the load. So we can directly use the formula here. Young's modulus of the steel is equal to force divided by area into length of the steel divided by delta ls therefore now we can substitute here therefore f is equal to y steel into area into delta ls all divided by l steel now we can substitute the value what is the young smallest of the steel which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 11 into area what is the area pi r square right pi into what is the r value is the diameter is given the 3 mm so radius is equal to what 3 mm divided by 2 which is equal to 1.5 mm which is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 the whole square so we got area into delta ls what is the delta ls we have already got that one 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 
all divided by length of the steel which is equal to what 1.6 meter okay so if you calculate this value you will be getting approximately 176.7 newton i hope you understood this one thank you all of you